Well, there you go, folk. It's the 19th of um, October. October. And Elizabeth's got a tablecloth, would you believe? And we've just pulled up at Aberdeen for some lunch. This is a new area for RV caravanners where you pull up, you've got toilets and a place to eat. And that's all you want. See you later. Well, here we are, folk. We're here uh, nice and safe at Willow Tree, a distance of 300 kilometres from home. It's 2.30. That's showers and toilets in there. And the travel bug is over here in a paddock on its own. There's other vans and that around, as you can see. But we just like a little bit of our own space. So here's safe, Armadale tomorrow. Bye for now. Well, here we go, where it all started. 46 years ago, I met Mum. And this is the station where we used to come. I was the conductor and Elizabeth was in the refreshment TCS, TCS car. And she stayed on the station there, isn't she? A beautiful, grand old station. And of course, the station is Armadale. Where we started back there, we're going back now, was the station master's house. That's where the station master lived. They were given a house in those days. And there's a museum up there which we'll be checking out tomorrow. So there you go. Now we've got to find the pub where we actually first got together. Well, there you go. See those steps there going up onto that vacant block of land? That used to be the men's barracks. And that line there goes through to Glen Ennis. Right down the end there, there's a little tiny rail motor and that's where they used to fill up Sputnik which is what we used to travel on with diesel so those steps went up onto the men's barracks which is no longer available been knocked down and this is the beautiful station men's barracks have been long gone and there you go that's where a young sexy legged 19 year old Elizabeth Clark got off the trains and fell for the conductor and <clears throat> the handsome Ricky Jones. Oh my goodness, she's still here. The Grand Hotel, where that sexy lady over there and myself first become a pair. And they still have a beer guard. Unbelievable. What's it like to come back there, dear? What's it like to be back here after 46 years? It's hard to believe, isn't it? Hmm? This is where you took a shine to me. <laughs> yes, those <laughs> sexy legs you had. You didn't have them oh, boots then. I don't then. know what happened to them. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? It's totally, huh? totally. 46 years. And there's the beer garden. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, shit. I've pushed video instead of a photo. That's where we first met. And out the back here in the beer garden, which is now a car park and beer garden, there used to be a cocky's cage. And we came out here, we stood looking at the cockies and the birds and whatnot else, and that's where we first locked lips. Do. <laughs> A big tangy. <laughs> He's having you were on. He did not. Only me knows. <laughs> well, what a beautiful day it is. Wednesday the 22nd, 23rd of October 2018. We're in the bush. You can hear any of the flies. This is a Royal National Park at Wollombi. Wollombi. They do a lot of uh, 
Um, white water rafting here. This is just a little beat area with barbecues, as you just saw. Just saw. They got pit toilets up the back there. And Mum's gone for a walk down to look at the, at the lookout, so we better follow her down and see what what's down there. Very peaceful and quiet, you might say. That it is. This is Wollombi National Falls and Gorge. Enjoy. Wow, I heard you all say. Beautiful. Nature at its best, isn't it? Facebook friends, this is the Ebor Waterfalls, the Upper Falls, now look at that, hey. Very peaceful. The rocks there in the centre. Impressive, isn't it? This is the Ebor Falls, the upper, yeah. The upper falls, it's beautiful, isn't it? This is at Ebor, which is about 80k from Armadale, roughly. This is the lower part of the Ebor Falls, a lot quieter. Beautiful area, but not as nice as the top part. But still lovely. That's a better shot. And there you go, the bottom of the Ebor Falls. She's a glorious sunshine day today. That's the old Empire Hotel, and you wouldn't have a clue where we are. We get around, don't we? I'll see if I can give you a clue. Can you see what that sign says? There you go. And we're on our way from Armadale to Cranky Rock. We should be there shortly, probably about an hour's run from here. We'll stop somewhere and have something to eat. Catch up with ya. It's a rare bird. <laughs> Is it peaceful? It's beautiful with the tripping of the birds. But bloody flies. 
Yes, they are a bit vicious. We're uh, about 20 kilometres from Cranky Rock, just having lunch. Cranky Rock people. Our home for a week in the mo in the bush. Very basic stuff here. One toilet to share. One shower to share. Nine sites. Peacocks, birds. Ooh, barbecues. Barbecue. Caretakers, birds up there in a cage, so the foxes can't get them. Around here to mum, I better go and help her, we're still setting up. And behind that red truck are the toilets and shower. Shower, not showers. How quiet is it? Nice mum? It's a bit warm here. 30 degrees today. Once we get that up, but we get the afternoon sun. Okay, bye for now. This is Cranky Rock. The wildlife here is unbelievable. And um, you can hear the peacocks because it's mating season. That's the one on the ground there crowing. That's what you just heard. Hello, Goggy! Hello, Goggy! Pretty boy, pretty boy. Hello, pretty boy. Pretty boy, pretty boy. What are you doing? Well, what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Gawky? What are you doing, Gawky? <laughs> what a beautiful place to come. It's a shame. That, oh, they're in there to protect them from the foxes. But live birds are pretty good at looking after themselves. And there's chooks that roam around here everywhere. That's the caretaker's house in there. And only nine people at a time, so that it never gets populated. Here's Mummy Chook with her little chickies. Can you see the little chickies? And that's what we're amongst. Tranquility. Oh, hear the rooster? We've got roosters, we've got peacocks, and emu just strutted past over there a minute ago. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, we'll leave our peacock who's in season and we'll go and take a stroll somewhere else because he's after a female and he's just getting a bit of a rest there. But you can see him. When he puts that tail out, he's absolutely beautiful. But the females are ugly. They're just brown. Rooster making the sound of a peacock. Oh, it's just heaven here. It's heaven. Peace and quiet. And down there is the swing bridge and the cranky rocks, which we'll take a trip to later on. I don't know if I can catch this. I'm going to try. Mum's over there trying to get it. Oh wow, 
because they're mating, see? Holy mackerel. Oh, it's wagging its tail and all. It's wagging its tail. Oh, wow. How can you find this in nature? Look at that. I've got your face. Look at you. <laughs> it's after a chook. He's after a female. Watch his tail go off. Look at his tail fluffed up, Liz. Look at his tail's all fluffed up. Oh, wow. See his tail fluffed up? Now we put it all down. No? Oh, wow. That's unbelievable. Listen to the birds. There you go. Peacock making, mating season. Unbelievable, isn't it? Hey? It's flushing. I can't see his tails. Bloody hell. Chooks. Unbelievable. Oh, he's after a female, isn't he? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, they're a beautiful bird. All at Cranky Rock. Huh. There you go. It's all over, Red Rover. No route for you today. No one for you. <laughs> oh. 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 Just for you, Elizabeth. I saw a chook. I saw a chook. <laughs> oh, well, any chook will do him as port of stop. <laughs> he fancies the chook. I wish he'd have sung out. But he didn't. Now he's going to drop her in. We've just had a visitor here and um, just walked straight through. Oh, I told you. And the peacocks go. Across peacocks the going across the front. See you, buddy. See you next week. Well, you might be back tomorrow. This is the first day here. Have a bloody look at it. So they're not worried about shelters. Probably get in here to get out of the rain. Out of the sun. Well, out of the sun, maybe. I can't believe this place. Cranky Rock. I'll never go past it. Here she goes. Off into the wilderness. <laughs> Face me. Oh, where well, you go? Bye. Oh, hello. Another visitor in the campsite. Just they just walked through your um your awning. Straight underneath your awning. <laughs> oh, no cheek this lot. Oh, don't bother them. Coming in to say hello. You'll see this, Liz? I'll just tell her. Oh, hello. Is he back? Oh, hello, dupes. Hello, dupes. How are you, little buddy? 
How are you, little fella? Been fussicking for food, have you? Don't you piss on my tyre. Don't you piss on my tyre. Oh, he's still after a bloody chook. Or any female, I think. Oh, they're unbelievable. Well, today is Sunday. It's a wonder this, not a, oh, that's early. There'll be a lot out here for lunch today because that's the daytime camping area shot. And that's the camping up the top where we are. Now, you get your little walking trail. And you come along here to a swing bridge. And we're going to cross that swing bridge and go for a walk to commonly known as Cranky Rock. Oh, we didn't look at the map, dear. I better have a look at the map. There's a map there. Alrighty. And we'll go across that bridge. It's about high enough for me. Mum's up there near the big boulders. And I just found this huge rock. What a boulder just balancing up there. It's the erosion that's done it apparently. A huge, it's absolutely gigantic. Photo doesn't do it, the video doesn't do it justice. The formation of these rocks is unbelievable. Oh, knocking me about a bit, but a oh. oh, little bit of a climb, eh? Oh, but it's beautiful. Lovely. Better keep at it. And we'll go up and see what's further up here amongst the boulder. Fantastic. Oh. oh dear. The view from up here. I'm so pleased I made it. I don't know how, but I did. Oh. Oh, and it's a bit too high for me. Now look at that, people. Isn't that nature at its best? Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. No other word for it. Is there, dear? You can read that if you want, darling. Go for it. Be quick. Imagine a cranky rock in front of its cold day becomes a cranky Chinese man jumped to his death because of the rock. Well, there you go. Little beach area and all down there. Now, they do swim in there, people. They do swim in there. Although cranky means likely to fall that sounds more like it likely to capsize sorry. I reckon well that's the little swim hole in Cranky Rock I've never seen so many flies. There's millions and millions of them. I tell you what, now there's little tiny bush flies. They go up your nose, in your ass, in your ears, but not with these on, mate. Not with these on. They might look stupid, but they work. See the flies flying all over me? Sucked in, ya little poofters. Eh, ah, they can't get me. I'll show you where mum's gone. Mum's gone down through that gate there and along that little path and into the bush. But, oh, 
down there you'll see a little bit of a sandy spot and that's where she's heading where the lagoon was that you saw on the video earlier that's where she's going <laughs> nothing like the bush is there absolutely beautiful except for the flies oh I wonder what the heck Elizabeth was looking at and there's the female the female peacock that all these blokes are so horny over and there's nothing to her look can I see your face instead of your ass oh Elizabeth must be on to something here she's on something what's she on what have we got oh I know what she's looking at straight yes. through there there's, there he is. There's Ed Emu. Hello, Edward. What animal is that? Shook by the sound of it. Wonder if we can get Edward here. There's Edward, having a little sit or shit, one of the two. You don't get too close to them because they can be very, very vicious. You know that, don't you, dear? I do. So here's Mum. She's going in for the... Um... Yeah, cushiony birds. He's lovely. I bet he's had his photo taken more than once too, eh? Well, there you go. Amongst the menagerie of wildlife animals here and of course if that female peacock's around there's got to be a male and I don't know where she's gone but I know there's a male up here somewhere all right let's leave them now yeah one's in the other one's territory there's only two of them here Yeah, that I could find, yeah. That's why he was chasing jokes, I think. <laughs> we missed that, but these two got a bit fiercely with one another. They don't like competing. Hmm. Oh, Stop. well, what? It's a bloody I can see. God, you're telling me how to bloody drive. There we go, little puddy calf. Now we can go again. Don't trust them. Oh, see how they change their mind? Mm. Here comes one. Get up, get up. Not the best of video, but I'm not supposed to be doing this, am I? So I'm putting it down. Bye. Well, this is a little bit different, isn't it, dear? Hmm. The Pioneer Village. Oh, we'll be able to have lunch in here. Look. How beautiful. Oh, wow. There's a, pub. There's a pub. Well, if there is, I'm having a beer in there. But I doubt it. We're going to explore now, dear? Sure we are. Hey, Pioneer Village. Here we come. Well, that's a little old homestead from the day. I think this one's, mm, I'm not sure, in the 1800s, I think. Let's check it out, shall we? I'll have to be quick with videos, and let's hope it's not too dark. Have a go at those floorboards. Floorboards, would you believe? And in here, where the lounge is, 
the old radiogram, which is pretty hard to see because it's dark. And there's the, the lounge. And have a go at the old floorboards. And the walls are actually um, hessian. hessian. Hear the squeak? Ah, oh, ghosts. Ooh, yeah. Old building, eh? Let's check out the kitchen. We've just been through the school, but I'm not going to do a video of that because everyone knows what the old schools look like. This used to be the kitchen corridor here to outside. And it also, according to this sign here, allows coolness. But according to Mum, it's to keep the um, kitchen separate to the house because they always burn down. For fear of fire. For fear of fire. Check, check out the little sewing machine. That's too dark for you to see, but it's actually the fireplace. And that's the little sewing machine that Mum wanted you to see. Have a look at the size of it. But they would have made everything on it. It probably would have done the job. And there you go. And that's the little shit house, I mean outhouse, for that home we went through on the previous video. And that's the post office, massive post office. What an unbelievable place this is. Nearly every camera you could ever imagine from yesteryear is in here. Cameras upon cameras upon cameras. Min for Terry Minalta, I think it's called. Nikons. Unbelievable. Some of these real old Kodaks and that. Oh. You should get some photos for the all amateur photographers the group, Elizabeth. The old movie cameras. Have a go at the age of these dudes. My goodness. I presume this would have been a recording studio in its day. And it goes on and on and on. False background, see that? The old flash bulbs. There's a flash there by the looks. Try and get away from that glare. Look, the gallery goes on and on and on here, people. It's just, I love old places like this. I really do. So we're in here having a field day. Never seen so many old cameras. Very valuable. Well, this is the Nulla Manor Church. It's a uh, Methodist church and the circular dated on that is 1901 
So, yeah, quite a while ago, isn't it? As you'd come in, you'd pay your money. Don't know why we did all that. And had all the stuff there. And there's a lady up the front there saying her prayers now. <laughs> now there it is. Those windows are beautiful, but of course it's not doing justice. And that's all the places where the congregation sat. I wish I could get those windows to shine up for you and show the LED, but it can't. The organ? Did you tell them what religion she used it? Yes, Methodist. Knee pad there for those that wanted to bend down and Methodist. do whatever they did. I am the bread of life, I am the right of the world. Wonderful. <laughs> hey, everybody's bar. I've just been in there on the press. As I did drink a little bottle of beer. And this is the old bar where we all sit and bullshit to one another. A bullshit hour. So this is where we get our booze. You buy the booze off a bar in there, or you drink, eat, and you be merry. This is the old boozer. The old boozer for booze and bastards. Oh, booze and buddies. <laughs> We're on the home stretch now. Inverell RSL Memorial Museum. Which is pretty warry stuff. We'll go in there. And then we've got uh, one, two, three, four old homesteads to go. <laughs> Cecil Dean and Mill. And it's all over for um, Inverell Pioneer Village. The grounds here are absolutely beautiful. But this will be th probably the last video, I'd say. Lunch time, time to move on. New body, please. New body. Oh, Jesus. Bye. I think Anthony would love it in here. Electric vehicle. I think that's rain on the roof. We're at the National Transport Museum at uh, Inverell. And um, just a quick little tour for everybody. Now you'll know where I'll be. I'll be right here. Yes, sir. I'm in heaven. Wow. Look at this. Model railway under construction. Push to start the train. Let's have a look. There it goes. Oh, look at the size of this one sneaking around here. This is a big one climbing here. That looks like a mail train. Look at them all. First, first, first. Sleeping, 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 buffet, second class, second class, second class, all the riffraff at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars. That's a big model railway. Very nice indeed. Now here we are back in the National Motor, Motor Transport or the National Transport Museum at... Um, in Varel, 
and just have a look at the number of bikes we've got here. This is just the motorbike section. Upstairs, downstairs, and you would have noticed that vest right at the beginning was the Inverell Ulysses Club. Grandad's got those patches. And look over here. These are the cars that Anthony would be just absolutely gobsmacked with. <laughs> look at them all. Far as the eye can see. And right over the back, a double decker bus. So we'll take some photos for you because the video doesn't do justice. We'll be here for a little while, I would say. Isn't it fantastic, Anthony? Look at all the Fords. See that, boys? Fords and everything. Look at them. All the old Austins, Vauxhalls. Look at that red dude. The yellow Gogamobile. Eh? Vauxhalls. Beautiful, beautiful machines. And I tell you what, they're in prestige condition too. This is a Misley Messerschmitt. One seater and all your groceries. Drive that wherever you wanted to go. Go shopping, eh? They got dolls, they got everything. Everything. This is a quick bit of um, video for you, Anthony. That's a HR 1967 Holden that Grandad used to own. And this is the 1964 EH. That's the one I learnt to drive on. 1964 EH. Here's the same thing again, only this one is a wagon. And by the look, she's been hotted up, mate. And this one here is of course the old 1956 FJ Holden. She's not in the best of condition, this old girl, but she's there, just the same. That's the old NRMA vehicle in those days that they used to come out and fix your car with. That's when they fixed it and didn't tow it. Now have a go at this blooming rocket. This here is the 19... Uh, what have we got? 70, isn't it? Yes, XY GT Ford Falcon. Mate, that thing, one bathist, it absolutely flew. There you go. Look, it just goes on and on and on. You'll have to check out the, the photos, okay? All right, buddy. Well, this is the massive big city of um, Warrielda. not a very big town, very small, IGA supermarket, some shops, a butcher shop across the road with terrible shitty steaks, but Corinda House is a little home in the main street with patchwork and quilting. So we're going to have a look in there, and this is our last day, second last day at Cranky Rock. But another day tomorrow, and then we're off. We've just loved Worry Elder as a little town, and we will be back. So much for the town. Well, I'm afraid people. It's an old pub, isn't it? There's not much in the main street of Warialda. This is Hope Street. And they've got a butcher's. They've got a, uh, a nice park. That's the Soldiers Warialda Memorial Hall. And, um... Their buildings are very, very old. 
see 1928. But yeah, not a lot in Wairi Elder. I'm just walking up the main street. I'll give you an example. Post office over there. Mm, got some part of it. Got some part of it, dear. Look at the lead light on it. And if you'll notice, there's the old stamped tin roof. Stamped tin roof there. See the lead light? Yeah, very, very old established town. But not much here in the town. There's an IGA along with the butchers and that. There's a lot of work to do here, but could you imagine how beautiful this is going to be when it's finished? And Derek's into his antiques and everything too, so they are going to plan to open this up again. And then in the paddocks down here, we'll be able to have a caravan in there overnight or whatever. That's the owner, Rose, Mold Elizabeth. The unbelievable means we've got to come back in a couple of years. Hey, have a look at that little van. Cute. Going or not? They made it close so they broke very easily. back to a condition of what it was years and years ago. How fantastic. Even the pianola. You just heard Derek playing that. Quite talented, didn't he? Thank you very much, mate. You're welcome. Made my day, this has. Excellent. Nature at its best. I think she's interested. You know what's going to pop around in the wildlife here, do you, dear? 
Everything from chucks to birds to... <laughs> Roosters. Hens. Yeah, he's trying to get... He's trying to get a chook, I think. He's a bit sick of trying to get the female. Aren't they? Unbelievable. Where's Dupes? We're just giving you a stroll around here from our campsite. It's such a beautiful place. Don't know where Dupes is, the little the little kangaroo. I don't know if that thing is very old either, just quietly. There he is, there's Dips. And Doopy. Doopy's beautiful. The sun's a bit strong back in there. Good morning, little buddy. Good morning, little buddy. Good morning, little buddy. Come on, give me a pat. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Ah, uh, wildlife is unbelievable. Hey? Eh? Well, it's about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're here at uh, Bendemir. Hello. Hello. Who have we got down there? What you doing down there, darling? Drop me doohickey for me Watson. You dropped your doohickey. Oh, look what's just pulled up here. That's a little tiny gidget there. It's a little teardrop, isn't it? It's a teardrop camper. What a cutie. And down there is the river. And the bridge. And the pub in the background where we will be tomorrow for lunch because tomorrow is our 46th anniversary and because we'll be going into the sun we'll leave it at that okay guys this is mark and you would have seen a minute ago when these guys pulled up with their little teardrop or is that what they call it a teardrop yeah, check this out see that tv there this is the back of the little teardrop the tv there turns around i like that set of wheels you'll probably enjoy that yourself nearly as my nearly as big as my motorbike <laughs> or the one i had have a have a go at this for a, a bit how comfortable is that? Little fan there. That section actually pulls out, which surprised me. I did not think that it would do that. And in there, you'll see that the TV turns around. What Mark had on the other side, you can turn that around in there. And this is the front section that it takes up. Doesn't even weigh, a hundred, not even um, a ton. Look at that little window. Awesome little van. This is Janelle. Hello. But not forget you. No, don't forget me. <laughs> and I'll see if I can come up here a bit and just take another photo. Down on it right open. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And no, Dorothy, it's not old, it's brand new. <laughs> it does look probably like a vintage van, maybe, but I don't know. Okay.
Well, today is the 4th of November and that means anniversary day for us, doesn't it dear? So we've just rocked up in this uh, car I hired for the day. There you go Nurga, have a look at the nuts on that. How would you like nuts like that Nurga? And we're here to have lunch at the Benadir pub. So that's where we're having our lunch. That's a massive meal. Yes. They have cut this for Mum. Happy anniversary, dear. Thank you, darling. I am enjoying this. We've just come from the pub after a lovely big lunch down there and we're coming home the long way, walking it off. Look how peaceful and beautiful this place is. If you can see a van there, the top left with its awning out, that's us. old road bridge. Why they put the new one down so low it beats me. See the horses over the back? And there's a river down there. The McDonald River. But it looks beautiful. Maybe a video in a minute. There's supposed to be a snake down there. I can't see but I can see it there yet. Hopefully we got it on the video, I don't know. To wait and see, hey. It was very long. It was. There's supposed to be a snake down there, I can't see, but I can see it there yet. Hopefully we got it on the video, I don't know. To wait and see, hey. It was. Well, this nice, quiet little town is Walker. <clears throat> Let me tell you, there's not much in Walker. And I found this for Mum. No doubt, she'll be in there enjoying herself. I'm going to go in and see what she's up to. Nice little park across the road. I'll show you this. And that would be the end of Walker. Could you tell us where we are, please, Professor? This would be Absley Falls, just out of Walker. Yes. Mm, it's not very much of a falls, but by God, you should see this gorge. Shall we look at it? Yep. And Absley Falls is uh, between Walker and Gloucester, about 20 k's out of Walker which is not very far and you're right, I don't think I can walk out there, dear. I, and I certainly can't go down there. Um, I'll try not to look down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, don't touch me, please. Oh, no, I can't go down there. Sorry, people. Don't go close, please, Elizabeth. Okay. Not not till I go back away.
Hang on to your camera. Shit, 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 fire out shit. Fire out shit, I'm coming back. Sorry guys. Not for me. According to this notice here, years ago, the white farmers, European settlers, had conflicts with the Aboriginals. So they drove them to, to this location by horseback, rounded them up and pushed them off the edge like dogs. But then again, that was what the shit English was like. Now I cannot see down there, but I'm not looking down there, I'm just following this camera. But let me tell you, I'm pissing off back from this bloody edge very quickly, like now. Okay, here's Mum and I down at the Pioneer General Store, which is absolutely beautiful. And you know how we went to the hotel the other day? All well, the day we're just at the store. And we've come in here to this little area. And we're going to have that beautiful burger that we've been tonguing for. And um, have a look at this. Holy mackerel. How's that for a burger? Yep, go for it. <laughs> See the friendly service you get here. You're a star. You're going on YouTube. Yeah. She is. She's a lovely person. We're going to eat now, okay? Yes, darling. And it's been wonderful stay here at Bendami. We'll be back. Well, it looks like our our little stint away for three and a half weeks is coming to an end. That's the bridge down there and this beautiful park we've been staying in. A little windy today and heaps of rain through the night. <clears throat> so we're going to slip down here to the local cafe and have ourselves a nice proper hamburger for lunch and then we'll come home the sun's supposed to come out the river's come up a bit from the rain last night and we will um, start packing up and uh, tomorrow morning first up we'll head for Millfield Heights on site one right next to the house. Bye from the Warri Elder trip. Just because I wanted you to get the feeling of the peacocks, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of that. And hence, as the sun sets at Bendemeer. <laughs>